There is a fork of Fedora. It is called Fodutu, and we're going to look at this today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. You know, I was looking on DistroWatch and I saw this operating system and uh, I just couldn't resist. I had to look at this. It's a fork of Fedora and we're playing with Fodun 2. And um, I had a chance to play with this a little bit last night before going to bed and uh, I thought this looked pretty nice actually. Um, this uses kernel 3.07 it uses xorg 1.11.1 as its display driver and it's got flash pre-configured on this as well um, it's got a it's got a pretty nice selection of themes that you can put on this it's very nicely customizable. It uses Genome 2. So if you want to uh, use Compiz effects, uh, you'll have an easy time with doing that. And uh, we'll also have a look here in a moment at some of the different uh, programs this comes with. It doesn't come with a whole lot, but the thing that really caught me was the fact that this loaded pretty quickly on my virtual machine. Now you'll see at the bottom here we have the Avant window navigator. I have a tutorial on that on my channel and you can easily customize this to do some pretty cool things. For instance, let's go into the dock preferences and uh, maybe uh, give this dock a better look. And that's something that is very quite easily done here. Uh, first, We'll pick out a different theme for this. Okay, we don't have uh, the compositor enabled right now, so we're not going to be able to change that. But we can do a few things with this. <coughs> Excuse me. But very nice indeed. So if you want to uh, have the really cool panel like the one I have up on the top here, you'll want to have some compositing effects enabled on it. But uh, all in all, looking good so far. Let's go into applications and you'll get to see what you got. Uh, first in accessories, you have the archive manager, the Avant Window Navigator, as I mentioned down on the bottom. Uh, you get a calculator character map, the G-Edit text editor, password and encryption keys, shutter and tomboy notes. In graphics, you get the GIMP and Shotwell Photo Manager. On internet, you get the Chromium web browser, Dropbox, Empathy Internet Messaging, Google Mail, and Romina Remote Desktop Client. Now, in the office, you just get Google Docs on this. So you'd have to have an account on Google Docs to be able to make documents, spreadsheets, and that sort of thing. You might want to download LibreOffice if you decide to try this distribution. And then in sound and video, you get the Banshee Media Player, Brazero Disk Burner, Cheese, Webcam Booth, and the VLC Media Player. And then finally, in system tools, you get Alurus. Very good tweaking tool for this system. You get an automatic bug reporting tool, a CD DVD creator, Deja Dupe backup tool, another good app uh, utility. You get a uh, disk utility, which is great for managing your drives. Uh, you get Jupyter, which handles your, um, your display configurations, software log viewer, system monitor, and of course, the terminal. Um, 
And then of course you have a way to navigate to all your favorite places on the computer here. And then in system tools, you have your standard complement for preferences and administration. Now, in uh, one of these here earlier, I was looking at its package management. This uses RPM package management, so you do not get the Ubuntu Software Center or any of those other goodies, but you still can uh, download and uh, install applications. However, it uses Fuduntu's own repository, so you would not be able to use Fedora's repository and that sort of thing. All in all, this is a very nice, lightweight, small operating system. Uh, it, it would become a little bloated if you uh, pushed it with the uh, compiz effects and that sort of thing. But it is nice to see that we have uh, that we have uh, people making distributions that still have the genome two shell. I love the way the Genome 2 shell appears. I like the effects and everything. I'm not really as pleased with uh, the Genome 3. If you thought this review was useful, please hit like and subscribe. Also, catch me on Facebook and Twitter. You can easily get this distribution uh, by visiting distrowatch.com. There's a link to it. You can get this in... Uh, in 64-bit and 32 flavors. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.